Welcome back. Welcome back. It's Hive Mind. Today we're doing a little 2018 XXL freshman list prediction. If you want to skip straight to our predictions, you can skip to this time right here. Whatever time it says right there, that's just our predictions. But otherwise, we're just going to discuss the candidates, the prospects, who we think might have a shot at it this year from a double XL standpoint, more of an industry standpoint. And then we'll give a, our opinions on that as well. Yep. So the obvious, if we go most obvious most this year, obvious. who do you think is the most obvious to be on the list this year? I think Ski Mask has got to be my most obvious pick. You think so? Yeah, because I thought he was kind of snubbed last year. He thought so too. The trajectory of the South Florida Sound, like in general, and his reputation not falling apart in the last year, I think is a totally. Big thing. Yeah, and I think he has a lot of longevity. He has, um, he's you know respected by Timbaland, Busta Rhymes, Missy Elliott, a lot of the people that are you know heavy hitters in hip hop. But also, I mean, he has a lot of hype around him. The kids love him, too. Yeah. He's, like, got hype songs. He works with, you know, Offset, Made in Tokyo. Like, everybody who is kind of a hype feature right now, Ski Mask is working with them. And I think one thing he's done a little differently than other people kind of in his group is instead of, like, maybe not holding it down, like, too much, which mm -hmm. can be done. Like, I think he's, like, little beefs where, like, X for a moment was, like, oh, like, we're not best friends like we were and he yeah. didn't like he didn't sidestep to like stick his neck out for another guy and just kind of stayed focused on his own career yeah and i think that's gotten him to like a more legitimate point totally now. and i think the way he releases music has a li is a little bit yeah. traditional it's like he's not dropping a new song every day but yeah. he's he's dropping songs here and there and then releasing big projects that you know i mean i think um, you will regret was a great project yeah. overall. It just is and like when you hear a ski mask song now, you hear something new. Yeah, like in each song, he's not just like giving you what you want. You're like, oh, I wasn't even ready for that. Like, yeah, and I think ski mask will accept, which is what makes him a little more obvious than some of the other ones. Like, you know, like people are saying that Lil Pump or Cardi B could turn it down. Yeah. That's so true. I mean, Cardi B, I didn't even see her listed in the pool. Of people yep, so I'm not sure if they're even considering her because I mean she'll have a Grammy by tonight so I mean That's having true. a Grammy and being a freshman is just not really like a thing that happens all that often so I think T Grizzly's another obvious guy yep T Grizzly pretty he would obvious probably accept it. yeah I think he would accept it from the place that he's at and um, I mean last year I think it would have made more sense like it was literally like he was releasing a project called My Moment, like yeah. right before it. So I mean, I think they missed an opportunity with him having to be first right first day out as like a song. Just had a lot of people rallying around it. The LeBron and Jay Z like shouting him out in the same day type of thing was huge. But I mean, I think this year could make a lot of sense too. Depends on his unreleased music. I think. Yeah. It's like that's what a lot of these freshmen have to do is go play music for Double XL. And so if they think it's promising and they think it has a lot of potential in the industry, they'll pick them. So, so. I think a guy that they're going to try and like seize the opportunity to be early on this year is a guy like Little Baby. Yeah, Little Baby. Yeah, he's because yeah. he's like all the things are lining up for him. Like this would be perfect for his press like right now. Totally. Yeah. And that's the thing is um, I've been trying to pay attention to who's been doing more interviews and more press runs and st stuff. And Little Baby and Uno are both doing tons yeah. of shit right Uno's now. Doing a lot. And Uno's been on like literally everything like popping up in my feed a ton. So I think that if that, I mean, I don't know if he'll get picked, but That's I think if that, that could be a sign that he'll get picked and his project was pretty um, substantial. I liked I it a lot. So it. yeah, that'd be, really it'd be really cool to see I him. I love that Live, Shine, Die project. I think that like added a whole nother element to a different kind of sound of rap right now. Yeah. So what about the top dudes like Pump and Top Dudes, Pump, Trippy Red, Trippy Red? I think Trippy Trippy Red. I think said in an interview, if I'm not mistaken, that he would accept it if he's offered. So he I think, would. and I I think that he's like super creative, has a long career ahead of him, regardless of how his hype plays out. I mean, right. he's got his little beefs right now and all that stuff too. But I mean, that dude just makes really good music. I think, and I think. Like the big guys like Travis Scott and Sway Lee, like already making songs with him is a huge sign that he'll be around for a while. So yeah. I think it would have made sense for him last year too. It just was like his hype wasn't huge before the, the list came out. So I think he's really got something going for himself too, in the sense where he's never going to clash with someone else unless he's on a track with Young Thug or like Supa BWE. Yeah, because like, guys they that sound just like him, but like 
the guys that sound just like him are so numbered and like yeah you throw him on a track with a guy like travis squat squat <laughs> <laughs> travis scott that's what they used to call me in the gym travis uh, squat <laughs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah he's just like a nice added you know, it reminds me a lot of the ways like in like travis scott when he first came on the scene it was like oh this guy's like yelling like singing like you put him on with any hardcore rapper and it's just like a nice added element yeah and i think his buzz is similar too it was like tons of people riding for travis scott early on because of his mixtapes and that's what people do for yep. trippy it's like trippy red fans are huge fans so i don't know that's grown so big in one year yeah. um his thing but i mean that would it'd be perfect timing for him too i think so i think a week ago i would have told you that takashi 69 was a really obvious pick but after not getting caught by the crowd three separate times this week <laughs> on his own tour, I kind of feel like the social support for him is like wavering. I don't know if it's like fading or like abandoning him, but I feel like people are like, well, do we really want to like everything has to go right for him? Yeah, Otherwise, there's just he's so easy to hate as far as an like, I mean, I don't know, like last year X was on the list, but he got voted on. Um, I think people that are have a lot of controversy, I don't know how Double XL feels about them right now. Like it's like yeah. for me, like Takashi has a lot of controversy that I understand people not wanting to rally around him or feeling at least hesitant to rally around him. I think he's got three big songs that are all all hits kind of. So ten million on Gummo today. I think it just hit. Ten million. It's over a hundred million. Or a hundred million. Yeah. Yeah. Gummo's over a hundred million. Kiki had like fifteen million in the first week or something. I mean, it's, I mean, he's got Those hits. Those are just huge numbers. Like, huge. Yeah, they're, I mean, as big as you can be off this type of music, but. I mean, who else would be having those kind of numbers that we're even considering, like, not being on it? You know what I mean? Like, like who, YBN. Like, see, but I think YBN. I think now, a week ago, I would have said, I would have been not so sure about it just because it's the one song thing, at least, like, yeah. in Double XL's eyes, rubbing off the paint's the only thing YBN had. And so now, because of Bounce Off with, Bounce Out with that, and then also, just like the fact that he worked with Cole Bennett, that PNB Rock was in his video, that um, he seems to be going around doing stuff with other rappers, and YBN Almighty J making a little bit of a buzz too. So yep. it's like a dude from his crew. I think that all of that and he has makes like him a better candidate. Energy about him, even though like he has the beef with TK, but like the gamer background. And like, I feel like people like aren't afraid to like say they like him. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, he's an 18 year old who's yeah. talking about you know all the gang shit. But like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, mean, think, I think he's got a good appeal. Like people. Yeah. He's. I mean, he was just on the remix of the Bad Baby song too with Rich the Kid and Asian yeah. Doll. So. That's another one, Rich the Kid. I think Rich the Kid has a good shot this year, even though... Hey, he fucking better have a good shot. I mean, I heard somebody say that he should have been on it two years ago, and... If anything, his time's passed, I feel like, to be a freshman. But new, yeah, that, that would be the only thing, but he's in the pool. I saw his name on the pool for XXL to pick from. He was going through their offices yelling Jay Critch's name, so if he wants Jay Critch to make it, he's signed to, the, he's signed to Rich the Kid's label, which is him, Famous Dex, and Jay Critch. But, I mean... I think just New Freezer being such a yeah. big song is like that's the thing that he needed for Double XL to kind of pick up on his wave. So I don't know. I think it's good timing for him. I yeah. think it, I would love to see his cipher and his yeah, uh, I would like freestyle and there. all that stuff. So that'd be fun. To see. Um, oh yeah, New Freezer challenge. By the way, mm. go check that out. Rich is trying to start that. What was sweet? He didn't he just say to Uzi? He was like, dude, you should sign to me. And Uzi looked at him and was like, bro, I ain't signing for no 20 racks. 20 racks, <laughs> yeah, uh, on Twitter. Very cold stuff. And then he went shopping with Kanye West. Oh, yeah. Which was very I cute. It pick. looked yeah, like so a it's, dad. It was, yeah, I saw that. Like Somebody said they were like, uh, look at this heartwarming picture of a father shopping with his son. Yeah, new, new school clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, for sure. Kind of change the topic of style of musicians. Does a guy like Smino have a chance? I didn't see him listed in the pool. Um, That's unfortunate, I think. I mean, some people would argue he's not a freshman, you know? Like, he's been around a while. But yeah. I would like to see him on there, I think. He's like, I mean, he would be my favorite of, like, the singer yeah. dudes. For for anybody to be on there, Smino would be, like, my favorite to see. But I just, I don't know. It doesn't seem to fall in line with what is yeah. trying to do. So, um, Okay. So... Someone, oh yeah, someone you said you got hip to just like a week ago, yeah. but I've been on for like six months now, maybe more than that. 
but little skies. Typically how it goes. Oh, a little bit, but <laughs> the fucking oh, the that is crazy. Like a month ago, he was not doing what he's doing now, and yeah. he is like. He is riding around LA in like new whips. He is covered in has changed covered completely. in tattoos now. I mean, yeah, Skies. I fuck with Skies. I like his tape. I nowadays is a sweet song. That's my favorite Skies song that it's he's released. XXLs. It's the perfect Five lane. Yeah, too. perfect. I feel like they're, that's an easy easy pick for them. And um, be relatively early on that. Like he'll be a strong freshman. Totally, totally. I saw Lil Xan get interviewed on No Jumper, and he said that he was talking to Skies. You mean Diego? Yeah. Well, yeah, he talked about that on there too. But he was like, um, he was like, I was talking to Skies, and I was telling him like, the way that I'm popping right now, like you have like your ceiling is so much higher than mine. Is what he's saying. He's like, you're gonna be way bigger than I am. And I kind of agree with yeah. him on that because it was just like, it's like a heartthrob thing. I feel like he could, yeah. he could like cross over to be like on like Ariana Grande songs. Definitely. Like that would like Lil Skies is like a perfect like image for that type of thing. So I feel like. It's kind of like an anamorph. Yeah. And I saw him rapping today on like a boom bat beat, like freestyling, like actually freestyling. And it was pretty good. That's so sweet. That's I yeah I believe in skies that's sweet. I, Another sweet guy that it. might really fit the script of XXL I think is Smoke Perp. Oh yeah, I I've been seeing him on more prediction lists now than than before. I mean he's solid like that. His most recent like work that mm -hmm. front to back is like there's a lot of bars in there and he's really rapid. Production's sweet too. Production's very solid and I know he's like been here and there with features like throughout the last like year year and a half like with some mm -hmm. bigger names i think the only thing that keeps him from being on it is if pump is on it too so it's yeah. just kind of the same lane like that would have been like picking x and ski mask last year um i mean i think pump could turn it down i mean pump Th is shopping huge less. like yeah he's shopping huge deals right now so pump was on it just because of like where he's at in terms of like Debating who's he gonna sign to he's kind of playing like the LeBron free agent right now like mm -hmm. Khaled and Gucci and all these guys are like, oh, we're trying like get the lawyers to work like everybody yeah. sign them Like I don't know if now really makes the most sense for him. Like he's popping enough. Like, yeah The freshman list cover and freestyle isn't gonna get him anymore Yeah, but this okay, so think about this like when he left Warner Brothers, he keeps all of his um, his masters and all that stuff. So he's making all the money off Gucci Gang right now, all the money off the Lil Pump tape. He's about to drop a mixtape also with Lil Yachty, a collab tape. And so imagine doing that, going on Double XL, and just all of the money that you make yeah. off that press, that free press from Double XL, that's all into his pocket. So I mean, I think if he played it really smart, he doesn't sign he becomes a freshman doesn't sign signs afterwards to a bigger because the rumor was that he was shopping label like label offers of 10 to 12 million up to 15 million i heard and then other reports came out saying it was only four or five million and so maybe he is trying to get that number up there you yeah. know like because a lot of people think you know he could be a flash in the pan i yeah. think he's stylistically i think he could be around for a really long time if he and i mean the song he did with carnage i right. i shine is sweet yeah i shine is so cool. that slaps i mean if he keeps doing what he's doing i think his personality could take him could give him longevity like you know carnage gonna have a big year too carnage is gonna have a i mean yeah he's his crossover has been really fun to watch because yeah. i mean he, i like when that he, he has his own record label now like, yeah he did the young martha ep with young thug and like every song well not i didn't like the last song that much but the three first songs were amazing and then he just did the song with uh, Tokyo and Mac Miller that Cole Bennett did the video for that it's was energy. amazing <laughs> I like yeah Carnage is sweet that's Carnage like he's like energy. a hot producer right now like yeah. he's really putting out good good songs so um so what about Zan do you think Zan's on it wouldn't surprise me do I care personally <laughs> no <laughs> Yeah. Would I like to see him not on there just so I have to watch less of him? Yes. But I I still I'm on I'm on Team San Diego. So <laughs> uh I I like him. I, I think he's cool. I think he's got a good personality. His Nardwar interview is sweet. For anybody everybody should go watch that. That's sweet. Um yeah, I think he makes good music too. I don't think, think I, he gets picked. I think he gets picked. Um for what what are the main reasons he gets picked by XXL in your mind? Uh that he had a top 100 hit betrayed has not been on there for a while i think his other songs around that song are good and i think his fan base is really dedicated and it's kind Definitely. of just like a 
it's like a little bit of a demographic they're not appealing to with any of their other picks. So I think I think that the age of his fan base is really kind of goes to show like other guys in like he's older. He's 21, right? He's yeah. 21 he's not and 18 like YBN or nothing, but his fan base is younger. And he those, jokes that he has like Jacob Sartorius fans. Yeah. He said he has and fans those, that are like 12 to 15 girls who like, you know, those love fans a rapper are named Lil Van. Strong. Cause yeah. they'll be, they're online all day and they're willing to fucking lay on a grenade for them. Yeah, know? for sure. And I think, I mean, the visuals around him are really strong too. He's got, yeah. um, shot by J, JP, I think is his name who doing a lot of his visuals and like vlogging his shit. And then he just released a line, a Xanarchy line for Valentine's day that I think is cool. And amidst the current climate, the controversy about him changing his name is actually kind of keeping him in the press. Yeah. You know, like he can go on interviews now and have like an open dialogue about drug use and coming he, from someone like him. Like that's, that's a positive thing. And like mm -hmm. the fact that he does want to change his name is another positive thing. Yeah. You know, his, um, his manager is stat quo, like of like Eminem and Dr. Dre like time. And he went on, uh, when he was, he was on the Nardwar interview and he said like, he was like, I like Zan cause he's got a message. And at the end of that interview, he says, he's like, um, he's like, don't do Zan's uh, don't stop cold Turkey either. Like if you need help doing these, like here, like find resources, you know, all that yeah. stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that that's like, yeah, I'm it's not. just something for him to say. Like, I mean, if you don't like his music, you don't yeah. like his music. That's just I'm the way it is. Music, but, but definitely I think the position he's in, like has allowed him to kind of like, he hasn't gone on shows and been like, fuck it. Like I'm still taking Zans. Like that's my image. He's yeah. like, actively been like, I'm going to change my name. Like I'm going to stop doing drugs. Like the way I was doing drugs. Mm -hmm. and, amidst the peep and everything that's been going on like that's totally it's good to have someone like him saying that kind of shit because those 12 to 15 year old fans mm -hmm. i feel like need to be hearing that and yeah for just sure whatever because i mean it's definitely a crowded market of people saying the opposite so i mean yeah, or at least you hear it you pick i don't think anybody's explicitly saying the opposite but yeah. talking about their lives and that's what they're doing so absolutely. um is russ gonna be on it uh, he's in the pool. I saw his name in the pool. Of course pool. he is. He's huge. He's huge. But that's the thing is like, I mean, in a way on his own like grassroots thing, he's like past it, you know, type thing. Yeah. I think there's a big chance for his ego to get a hold of him and for him to say no. But I also know he won't be able to turn it down. Yeah. Like he, I think fair. he, if he hears them say like, Hey, we want you to be a freshman. He will take it. Yeah. Um, wow. I really hope not. Yeah. I hope not either. I Music's don't like bad. his music. His um, I think he's trying really hard to be like Drake. And so, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to see that at all. His every, fans are terrible. Yeah, everyone <laughs> who's like come up to me or like suggested or even played a Russ song near me, like has the worst defense ready. Yeah, like, he, oh, he engineers and records and produces all his songs. I'm like, okay, chill out. Even, but that's they're fine. Like, oh, they're bad songs. They're like, oh, he's white. <laughs> Don't you like that? Like, no, he sucks. <laughs> why, what? Yeah, I mean, I don't know why John Mayer likes him either. Why is John Mayer playing guitar on his songs, you know? Well, dude, Ryan Adams features on two little baby tracks on his most recent. That's days, sweet. Which is sweet and also <laughs> very strange. Very Ryan strange. Adams is one to do weird stuff like that. Like he, a few years ago, he produced a Fall Out Boy EP that sounds like underground, like, UK punk like that's definitely the better cosign out of those two is Ryan Adams cosign of little baby <laughs> yeah yeah and that's sweet yeah. I mean yeah for sure little baby's like from the streets like little baby has a sick image like is very yeah already plugged in in the Atlanta scene yeah I I would love to see little baby picked what about saw baby saw baby I that's someone I'd really love to yeah. see make it I think someone who added like Definitely to my experience of the last six months has like brought me a different sound of rap and hip hop that I wasn't ready for. I heard Marsupial Superstars when I was partying on a boat and I said, this is how one. Yeah, like my <laughs> life could end right here. And this is cool. Like yeah, I that was, song is that song brings something. Me up. I don't brings know what it up. is. Yeah, that song's amazing. Um, I like that the whole tape. Sweet. Yeah, the whole tape. Yeah. Cracks in the cr cracks and crevices on there. Um, I mean, he like, what did he have? Uh pull up with a stick is like the big yep. song off that but and i think his his like hate or whatever that he had in the beginning or in the budding of like 
the hype of pull up with a stick and whatever, like mm -hmm. that's starting to dwindle. Like people had some early criticisms of him that are proving to not be substantial. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And he's like outliving them and like kind of persevering through it. And I think that's a huge quality to have. Yeah. And I think he's, he puts creativity over the hype too. Yeah. I think he wants to be like a creative artist. And so a lot of that music shows it, but also just the way he, he moves around and his social media and yeah. all that stuff seems like... A lot of like yeah. abstract, like just like symbolic content too. Yeah. Like he's really fixated on just animals and like... Yeah, I saw him tweet about that. Yeah. He was like, I'm not going to stop rapping about animals. <laughs> and that's cool because that's just... It's abstract. It's something, it's something different, yeah, you know? It gives like, you something to chew on, like think about. Yeah. Yeah, I like him a lot. Um, what about... It's like... You know, Russ is kind of like a sus pick they could go with, and they always kind of have like a like a lyricist or something that will like satisfy a different kind of demographic. I think Joyner Lucas could be a pick this year. Um, I mean, I don't personally care for the music all that much. I don't really care for the way that he moves around either. Wouldn't like to see it, but I mean, it's possible with the I'm Not Racist video making such a wave for a yeah. second, and then I think it would satisfy a lot of older people who want to see somebody like spit i made this prediction we did this video before we, where we tried to shoot the same video and i predicted that if he does get picked he will diss somebody and or everybody on the freshman list with him mm -hmm. during his cypher freestyle because i mean i think he does that like he got on gucci gang and he said I mean, regardless of if it was like a direct diss, he was saying some hater shit about Pump and his whole wave. Yeah. And he did like a mask off remix where he kind of did the same thing. He's just throwing like subs at the people that he's rapping on their beats. I don't know about his whole, I'm not a big fan of Joyner Lucas. Yeah. I just think it makes sense for XXL to pick somebody like that to like even out their crowd. Um, I don't know. It's definitely possible. I don't know if it'll happen, but. Is, uh, is a guy like Maxo Cream in the pool? I'm not sure if I saw his name in the pool and he's been around, I guess for a while. Yeah. I've just become hip to him like within the past year. And the recent tape that just came out Punkin. is like Punkin is like Punkin is hard. That's my favorite project that's come out this whole year, rap or otherwise I might so stand far right there with you too. It's, I mean, he is telling stories on that thing. <laughs> it's it's tape, like yeah. he, I saw him quote tweet something like somebody said, one of the best storytellers in rap and he's like the best. And I'm like, I can't argue with that. Like, I've been he playing is, that for yeah. people recently and that's like the shit you'll put on and like someone who hasn't heard it but likes rap just in general like mm -hmm. it just is making people laugh they hear it and they're like ha! like who is this yeah. like I need to be on this and that's like, kind of how um like the first time I heard Maxo was kind of like the first time I heard T Grizzly yeah like when I heard T Grizzly it's just it's a like, different oh, presence on the track like him kind of like I know I have some friends who rap who like don't like T Grizzly because he raps like behind the beat a little bit like yeah. he's like off the beat but he does it in such like a like idiosyncratic way like it's yeah. like a certain T Grizzly way. flow and then like he is just spitting like crazy shit like I think the same thing like um like how like Draco the ruler I'm now just thinking Draco's flow Draco like the beat has to catch up with him yeah and Draco reminds me of like when 21 Savage came out and yep. people were like is he just like talking yeah, over like dark beats <laughs> like is he just talking and Draco's tape Sick. is fire that I shit was amazing yeah, yeah that's, that's amazing um he's a little that's it's too early a double xl isn't hip to him yeah. like that probably yet but man he he's that would sweet. be sweet to see yeah. like i, I hope see he gets some shine with mr mosley's sure. in the rap hall of fame baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's what does really he say cool. throughout the whole thing too uh Oh, flu flamin. Flu flamin. If someone He's can tell me what that means, flamin. that'd be great. Yeah, that's sweet. Because I've added it to my vernacular, and I'm probably using it wrong. But yeah, it's probably. A, it's a fun word. Fun pair no, of yeah, words. Yeah, Draco's sweet. Um, other than that. I think, I mean, I don't think he's even in the pool, but G Perico yeah. is going to make a big wave this year. Um, I think he makes more sense for the industry than the industry's really showing, too. Like, I think he's got star power as, like, he's a yeah. uh, West Coast, like, gangster rapper. Um, his voice reminds me a little bit of, like, Danny Brown, but he's rapping, like, YG or, like, Easy e kind of. Like, all that stuff is sweet. His uh, To the Left tape is amazing. Um, well, if Cardi B wins a Grammy and subs out yeah, of yeah, the yeah. potential freshman class, is Rico Nasty the most obvious like replacement for that mold? Like, I uh, don't think so anymore. Um, for what reason? I've heard more shit about Cody Shane now in the past week. And sh her being signed to Yachty, her being a, or not signed to Yachty, sorry, just 
like she's around Yadi a lot. Yeah. Yadi's been pushing her stuff, and she spits. So yeah. I think she makes a lot of sense for them. Um, I just think Rico's probably got more notoriety as of right now. It's possible. I think it's... I don't know if I saw her in the pool. I didn't even, like... I didn't check for sure. Um, but she, her and Asian Doll have that beef going on. Both of them have, like, similar hype in, like... You know what I mean? Like, their yeah. names going around. But I think Rico Nasty, There, it's just too early for her. And it would be really interesting because her hair right now looks exactly like Takashi's. Oh, yeah, like it's like the funny. same rainbow color. Uh, so if they were both on there, that'd be really funny. Or if just she was on there and Takashi wasn't, and everybody'd be like, "Yeah, Takashi. you know, that type of thing would be funny." But Rico Nasty makes hard music. I think she's sweet. You didn't really give me a take on Takashi. Do you think he makes it? I think if he makes it, he gets voted on. Okay. Um, because I think it's too much controversy for Double XL. But I don't know. They pick. They, they, you know, their picks are always yeah. different. And oh, yeah. I mean, some people think that whole thing is past. You know, they're yeah. over his whole case. I don't. I'm not going to give my personal opinion on that, but I mean, I think it makes sense from every other standpoint. It makes sense for Double XL to pick him. Yeah. And he is, he, he's got people behind him. They'll probably vote him in. I think a guy who makes a lot of sense who's just kind of starting to buzz a little more is D Savage. Oh, yeah. I think he makes good sense for Double XL because he's young. Just released, like... He just released a video for his biggest song. Yeah. He doesn't have a ton of videos out. He doesn't have a ton of mixtapes out. Like... He's just grown popularity off like his initial like hits. Yeah. And like he's kind of sat on it and like it's stewed long enough. And I think yeah. he's got the right he's got like a good crew with him, like the LA base. He's he's with, like, uh, he's, Weed he's and, friends like, with Tyler and yeah, all them too. Like, he's like a friends with Odd Future. So yeah, I mean that would make sense. It might be a little early. Just in double yeah. XL's eyes, they're always picking late. So yeah. like it's like who you already know. It's not like who they're not yeah. showing you new people all that often. Right, so that's a thing. Um I think totally obviously different realm but i think you know they always kind of pick somebody who's not like who's like a funny rapper in some sort of way like ugly god got picked you know mm -hmm. and then like um little dicky was picked like two years ago like you know stuff i mean yeah but he got picked you know yep bad like, move on that one double x yeah uh i think one that makes a lot more sense is rich brian this year yeah um i know that he's in the happy. he's in the pool i like his i think He's been releasing good music. I think um, See Me, that new single that he released like after changing his name is good. And I also think um, he's got a wide range of influences and he's got 88 Rising behind him who is like one of the best media companies out there doing any sort of rap promotion or promotion in general. Um, so visually, his stuff is always going to be strong. It's always going to be creative. He, you know, his biggest song, he mentions Mac la, la, DeMarco. La, 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 so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think I'd like to see him there. Internet I know kid, you know? He's kind of, I feel like the people in the industry, like other musicians also often have a tendency of being like, that's my dude. Like he's out here doing it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Rich Brian's like doing his thing. No he's got one a 21 do. Savage feature. Right. And like he's got like a sense of like courage to his celebrity that I feel like at least other musicians have seemed to like and yeah that would make him easy to work with people would probably have a good time like put him on feature blah, blah, blah. totally um do you think jeff sessions i mean young nudie has a chance <laughs> uh jeff sessions no shot uh <laughs> just not enough buzz yet yeah not yet <laughs> don't sleep on him though <laughs> i don't know young nudie is he in the young pool? nudie i think he's in the pool because um, i think he's hard i think he's hard he, yeah and that would kind of be like a it be, wouldn't be an exciting pick necessarily but I think he's someone that fits the script. It like, depends on unreleased music, I think. Yeah. It would play into his like current trajectory though. In totally. My mind. Like he could he's someone that could really use it. Yeah. More so than the other guys we've talked about. Like mm -hmm. double XL would be really big for him. Yeah, that would be sweet. Um what about a controversial pick on double XL's part? Love controversy. Bad baby. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so much controversy. That like, would be controversial. A 14-year-old from the Dr. Phil show? Yeah, it would be, but that's not the kind of controversy you want. Hey, uh... She's got bars. That's what he's going to say, everyone. He's going to say it. <laughs> uh, I, it, she might not say be... Say it. <laughs> all right, she's got bars. She might not be writing her own shit, so, I mean... I don't know how much that matters anymore, like yeah. to other people, you know? Like, if nobody cared or, like, blank, like blinked an eye when Drake... 
just kind of like ignored that everybody said that and won his beef with Meek Mill. I don't really understand how that happened now that Quentin I look Miller. back at but and Quentin Miller is stuck, you know, making sweet music and nobody cares. <laughs> exactly. So without a foot. Sorry. Quentin. Yeah. Uh <laughs> I don't know. I mean, she's 14. So if she's not writing her stuff, I mean, she is 14 and she's delivering it with some level of like skill. So I mean, I don't know. High Bitch is like a hit song, like a certified hit song. She has a remix I with YBN, Rich the Kid, and Asian Doll. Yeah, yeah I just kind of have my earplugs in on her because I watched her on the Dr. Phil show. And so if that takes me a little time, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to apologize for it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, it would be f like... To I, me, that ruins funny. like... It doesn't ruin, but like going into a double XL next year... Now, all of a sudden, I'm thinking, oh, there's a slot for the 14-year-old who's on the Dr. Phil show. And, like, to perpetuate that or even, like, promote the idea of that is, like, I don't know if that's, like, what they really want. Like, that yeah. could be a bad side effect of it is being, like, oh, well, now there's all these kids who are, like, bullying their moms and, like, getting, like, that same person who's writing her lyrics are, like, yes, more evil children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I don't know. If Double XL will pick her, I don't know if she's that's got in a their realm. Man. She's but, got a big attitude, though. Like, yeah. and that is gonna take her somewhere. Yeah, I mean, she's already doing things. Like, regardless yeah. of if Double XL is gonna pick her, right. she'll be rapping next year. You know, and yeah. she's so young. Like, you know, I don't know. Her and Matt Ox are like the youngest in the game. <laughs> Matt, Matt Ox, I was gonna bring him up. <laughs> he's not that. in the pool. He's not. Thank he's not God. <laughs> yeah, they're just frying his voice. I don't know what the fuck his music is really. He's a child. He yeah. doesn't even know what it is. That's he's true. Capable of like contextualizing his place and time as an artist, and he's just. I've heard multiple. He's rappers. someone he's not. Yeah, I've I've heard multiple rappers say that he's just like a grown ass man when you hang out with oh him. My <laughs> that he just like has the personality of a grown man <laughs> like he's just like <laughs> yeah man what's up <laughs> <laughs> what's up it's Matt Ox yeah shit I mean, in the studio hell you know it <laughs> Lil Tracy does like no features and then he fucking did a song with Matt Ox so. Lil Tracy's another guy that yeah I, may have a legitimate chance he's oh. like one of my favorites like I would love to see him get picked. I don't think he will. He's also I just someone don't think I could see time. turning it down. Yeah. He's kind of sassy like that. You know what I mean? A little bit sassy. Yeah. He's got some sass. And very tight pants. Tight pants, yeah. Always wearing tight pants. Demons is sweet. That's a sweet song. Everybody should listen to that one. But he... Pictures is sweet. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I think that's the thing is like since Lil Tracy started... He has only gotten better mm -hmm. and like found more of his own lane to like be in. He's like rapping now. It's not like yeah. any sort of crossover. I mean, that's not true. Like, he's got um, he's got oh, why am I? I mean, that was Fishnark. <laughs> Fishnark playing guitar on the on the new on Demons yeah. in the video and everything. I don't know if that's a sample or if he's actually playing it or whatever. But when I, as big, it's heads, still like as yeah. Big Head's career gets bigger too. People are gonna keep going back and listening to Lil Tracy, like as Big Head's making more beats for other people, like that's just gonna draw more people to Lil Tracy's music because they've like... And they're still gonna collaborate inside. more yeah. from what I understand. I saw a Lil Tracy tweet. He was like, I need Big Head's beats in my life again or something. So, yeah. yeah that's a great tandem. I love those two as a pair. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'm a big Big Head fan there. He's, he's awesome. We should do an XXL freshman of the year for producers. They should do that. They should do a list for producers. Producers are becoming like much more celebrities than ever before and th and that's great for music fans like yeah. finally recognizing that these guys are the ones that like really like perforate the sound throughout like the whole genre like totally yeah they can get 60 beats out there and get a range of artists on them but at the same time be pushing like the same sounds into your whatever headphones or speakers yeah and i i saw like dj academics said that he thinks that the beats like the producers are doing 90% of the work for the hot songs, you know, like like Lil Pump has a lot of personality, but I mean anybody over that Gucci gang right. beat might have been a hit or like, you know. The humble beat should have been Gucci Man's or it was made for him. It was originally. made for Gucci Man, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's at the top. Like that's all the way at that's the top. That's Mike Will made it. I mean And to say like maybe Kendrick didn't even like I love damn and I Kendrick's my favorite rapper in the game and that song's really special to me and I know a lot of other people but 
that beats really what does it. Like yeah. Kendrick adds himself to it, and he doesn't tell you anything new on it. You don't learn anything about Kendrick on that song. But it's I don't know, beat. man. He's got some really like catchy bars on that song. Like, I think he's got a lot of his like. Um, I remember syrup sandwiches and gram allowances is like gonna go yeah. down for like a while. Like that's like a. Thing. But it's that I think it's the. Like, it's like a ripple effect. Like the moment he said has, that, like, people started talking about like, like capability to it that like. If Gucci was over that song, I'm sure there's a few lines in it that I'd be like, "Man, that's Gucci!" Like I'm gonna like think of those lyrics every time. Gucci I think could about not him. flow like Kendrick does on that song. Well, he's not gonna I flow like think. Kendrick. He'd no, flow no, no, like no. Gucci, of course, of course. It's just gonna take it where it would. I go. think I don't think that song goes number one with Gucci on it though. That's I think fair. that song goes number one. Like I mean, obviously went number one with Kendrick. To get there's off few just that rap, specific yeah. song, I mean, there's these big beats out there, and mm -hmm. it's more recognized now that. If the beat's hot and it's got the right energy that the people want, like all someone has to do is like capitalize on it, like yeah. put themselves through it. And the beat, I think Academics has a point. I love <laughs> DJ Academics. So. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> but he does. He does have a point. I think the producers do a lot of times more of the technical work, more of the musical work. Like the artists are the ones out there promoting it, obviously, and the celebrity has a huge part of how people receive their music. And so their image is really the most important thing. But like, just, I mean, if you were a blind guy and we're just speaking like sonically, like the beat and the production is everything. Yeah. Like that's it. Mm -hmm. um, do we want to throw a few more names out there and then yeah. get to our final? Yeah, I got a couple. Um, um, one I, I think would be sweet to see would be Princess Nokia. Um, I think she's got a, like a well-rounded kind of like artistry. I don't really know how to explain it, but I think she's a well-rounded artist with a good sizable fan base. Um, she's got a lot of style. I think 1992 Deluxe, or is that what it was called? I don't remember. That whole album EP thing that she made was sweet. I think a lot, she showed a lot of, a lot of potential on it. Um, had kind of like some mini hits here and there. Yeah. So I think that would be sweet. I would I would be rooting for her. She's New York too, so that would be cool to see yeah. a New York artist to like Besides Takashi, yeah. <laughs> well, but yeah, besides Takashi and besides Cardi B, you know, yeah. like it's like another That would be yeah, I'd rather see her than both of those. Yeah, for sure. Someone I'm really rooting for is Gunna. Who, oh yeah. Like uh Drip Season Two had crazy features on it from like Yachty, Young Thugs on it, a lot of big names on it, and then Dripper Drowned, his most recent tape, also has a Young Thug feature on it, mm -hmm. and the title track goes really hard. Uh, it's early, but yeah. it's early, but yeah. he's got a lot out already. Like totally, Drip Season and Drip Season Two are full length albums with like big name features on them, and then Dripper Drowns like his own project that only has one feature on it and is also solid. So. The balance of that amount of content and like his ability to just keep going hard like i would really root for him i would like to see him on there because i would like other people to know more about him mm -hmm. similar positioning like i i love young bands i think yeah. young bands has been doing a lot of cool stuff um it might be like a little early or like he doesn't have like that song you know yeah. like lonely is kind of like becoming a little bit of a hit with because yeah. it's got skies on it too um i think he could be a good like not novelty but like a really distinct feature to have like eventually yeah. later on like i would love to see like young thug get a band's feature and see yep. kind of like what he does on it i think jid or jid i don't know how he pronounces it um signed to dreamville j cole's label he's i think sweet. he's sweet yeah i mean he's um it's kind of like a he's got like a like a soul and r&b appeal too he can Andy sing Pac he can Pac rap definitely. yeah anderson pack vibe a little bit he makes a lot of sense, but I don't know if I've been seeing a lot about him like in the yeah. pool or what all that stuff, but I think either way he'll have a big year. Um, yeah. If that's any sign of what artists on Dreamville are going to do, that that would make sense to me that they lay low because yeah. it's always been J. Cole's thing is to just let everyone else do the talking and release your music pretty much. Totally. Yeah. He's, I mean, the only appearance he's made recently is showing up to No Jumper and yeah. everybody freaking like, or he showed up to on some shit, you know, but like he was in the No Jumper vlog and yeah. it was just reported everywhere. I thought crazy. it was like a wax statue of him. I thought Adam was like playing. Yeah. He was like, oh, J. Cole stopped in. He I'm is like, like this motherfucker. Like, I'm I don't sure even like, did. I don't even like like J. Cole's music, but it's like a oh. mystical figure for some reason when you see him somewhere, like the yeah. fact that he was there to me was so like, 
odd. That, yeah, because like, that's about his content, too. He takes himself very seriously, and his music yeah. has, like, a heavier tone to it. And yeah. his fans are, like, he's the best. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, they're willing to put him up against Tupac and, like, yeah. the yeah. greats. They're like, dude, he can stand. And that's cool, and I like how he's done that. Yeah. I also like how Adam was, like, said afterwards, he was like, I was so nervous. I was, like, sweating. Like, yeah, why was I was. sweating? Like, of course he's he He's like, was. I meet, I like, all my favorite rappers all the time. He's like, I don't even, like, like <laughs> listen to J. Cole. Like, yeah, that's wild. I mean, yeah. But, um... Other than that, people that are on the bubble. Like Wi-Fi's funerals on the bubble. Um, yeah. Very that'd be, much so. That'd be cool. I mean, I'm not a like, huge fan, but I definitely like I like the stuff I've heard. You know, and he's got like the melodic vibe. Like he fits right in that scene mm -hmm. that is really right now. And I, I wouldn't really surprise me. And it also wouldn't really surprise me if he's one of those guys who got picked and you looked back in a couple of years like, where, where'd he go? Like, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, young pinch, There's young pinch guy on the ball. Yeah, I think his um, yeah, his spot might be filled. Just like having Lil Xan on there, yeah. kind of like might push him out. I mean, they're not like that similar, but he's just like a sing songy white boy with long hair. You know, like he's got like the beach rapper vibe. That's never really like I can't see Double XL making all that much space yeah. for something like that. But yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm fine if he doesn't make it. But he's definitely a bubble character. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Smokey Margella. Yeah, that would be cool. I'm kind of rooting for another really young guy. Like, he's been sunned by ASAP. That way. But yeah, like, <laughs> Vlon Flex is sweet. He's featured on, or he's in the Cozy Tapes, both volumes. He's got work of his own, and he seems to be like, he's being like manicured to have the ethic and be like the professional musician. Like, he already knows more of what it takes than someone who's the young and just catching like excitement from the internet buzz. Like he's being yeah. groomed in a way to be like a big rocky. industry yeah, type. Big yeah. Industry. His name's Smokey too. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. That's sweet. <laughs> I wonder how many, that's one thing that's going to be interesting is to count the Lils and the youngs on this on this, uh, freshman list. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, Originally, when I had made like my first draft list, I was like thinking, Jeez. I was like, can they really pick like a like Lil Skies, Lil Zan, Lil Pump, Lil, you know, just like keep going down all the Lil, like, but I mean, they've done it before, so yeah. you know, I don't think that they're even caring about that. It's all no, about who they are. But that so. is a kind of odd thing that everyone just keeps doing it. Yeah. Why? I Does think everyone one want to be a Lil something. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I mean, Lil Wayne is like everybody's favorite rapper, so that's, that's probably part of it. Yeah, and Lil Boozy too, also has big. Yeah, lines. for sure. Um, one thing I think Double XL just as like a like last note before we give our actual lists, I think one thing that they're gonna have to do this year is pick the obvious ones, some of them, because last year seemed like okay. So two years ago, when they picked like you know Kodak, Twenty One Savage, Lil Yachty, like everyone that's yep. around right now that's like running the game they got like they got made fun of for picking that list and then like look at them now you know those are the yeah. people that are running it like whether you think designers a bust or the fact that little dicky was on that list makes it yeah. like a little bit ridiculous like all that type of stuff is like whatever but those names are mostly was, still Uzi around was on that list, uzi was on that list yeah, and huge. anderson pack was on that list i mean huge. like those people are around so like Last year, when they kind of picked a list based on hit songs, like songs that were on the radio, like mostly those artists were like, you know, when they're picking Made in Tokyo, the people on the radio are like, well, we know Made in Tokyo from Uber Everywhere, or we know uh, Cap G from Girlfriend, or we know, like, it was all like, we know this artist because they have this song. I think the fact that they did that made it now, like, right now we're looking back at that list and like, who's around? Not that's a like with a hoodie. I mean, well, he's on of, Kiki, yeah, know, yes. <laughs> but, but I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like some of those people aren't around or like at least as much of a presence yeah. in the industry as two years ago. So I think this year they have to pick people like Trippy and they have yep. to pick people like Pump if he chooses to accept it and Ski Mask because he's got longevity. Well, there's three. So. You might as well finish your list right now. Okay. So my official 10 freshmen of this year. 2018. 2018 that I think double XL will pick not necessarily my favorite just the ones I think that fit for them cover that magazine cypher no particular order I'm gonna go with trippy red T grizzly Lil pump Lil baby uno the activist YBN Navi Namir ski mass the slump God saw baby Rico nasty and 
I'm down to nine, I think, there. I'll go Smooky for my tenth. Okay. Cool. All right. My official picks for the 2018 XXL freshman class are Lil Pump, Trippy Red, T Grizzly, Ski Mask the Slump God, Rich the Kid, Lil Skies, Rich Brian, Saw Baby, Lil Xan, and Princess Nokia. All right. Uh, Those are our official freshmen. Those are our picks. Those are our picks. Hive mind. Baby. It's not gang shit. It's it's, it's not friends. cheap like that. It's, it's a show about friendship. Boys and girls. Yeah. Ladies and germs. Double XL. Pick us. 2018. Pick me. <laughs>